boxing out with Universal Combat Survival, longtime friend, brother, student, warrior, Julian Pena, here to talk to you guys today about combat and martial arts. There is a difference. Let's talk about martial arts first. Let me give them a little bit of my background. Um, started off Taekwondo when I was three years old, then I would box with Larry Barnes, you know, at three, right? Then I moved over into jujitsu around, say about seven, eight, still studying Taekwondo, practicing my Taekwondo. About 14, I started studying Wing Chun, all right? Uh, then went back and bounced around a little bit, you know, got a little bit more experience into my belt, went into more jujitsu, and then started to convert into other things like uh, Muay Thai, a little bit of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Then later on, I moved into Kali and Salat, all right? And a, a, a few, few of my other brother warriors who actually, you know, we used to bits and pieces share the game. So being around a lot of different martial artists and actually and consistently practicing with a lot of bunch of different martial artists, you learn to take a few things and give a few things. Uh, another art that I kind of like acquired was Kung Fu Wusu from, shout out to my brother, Mozzie Sigmund. Me and Mozzie, long time Kung Fu Wusu practitioner. Uh, you know, we used to exchange Kung Fu uh, ideologies and methods and always down to, you know, kicking and punching, whatever case may be, consistently, constantly training. All right, so what I've done is I've narrowed it down to how I think about it, how I feel about it, and I've combined the systems, integrated the systems, so to speak. All right, my point of view going into more of a combat perspective for people who want real time actuality fighting system. All right, so long story short, let's get right into it. Um, universal combat and survival is comprised, the first word is universal because all of the systems from which I've studied or like I'm taking bits and pieces from is martial arts universal, anyways. There is no Wing Chun for me. There is no Kali, there is no Salat. I'm using this to kind of like get a point across to people who actually are familiar with terms. Martial arts comes from one place, right? One place, we're looking at Akabulan to give you a little bit more information, all right? Not to get too far out of perspective, but martial arts is actually derivative, derivative from one place and people took the system and kind of like broke it down to how it went according to them. We're looking at how it's according to an overall perspective, they say, okay, we can, we can go into different concepts, different methods, and have a lot of fun with it, learn a lot from it, but the best thing, and the best and most important thing is that, does your art work? All right, so people get string and street methods confused. This is where we're looking at martial arts. Okay, so me being a martial artist, I can go into a ring and do certain things in a ring. Me being a combat warrior, a combat teacher, educated instructor, I can't, I'm not going to go into the street and do certain things, right? So when it comes down to an overall perspective, you gotta have to have, okay, get an idea of what, you're, of what you wanna do as far as your, your education, what you're studying, all right? And I teach both, both perspectives, both concepts, all of the ideologies from martial arts as well as combat. Okay, so now let's look at the martial arts point of, uh, point of view first. We're gonna look at boxing first, okay? Or, so for me, but people think that boxing is not a part of martial arts. It, yes, it very well is. Because if you look at Kali, we have our jab across our hooks and our uppercuts, so to speak, as well as Muay Thai has, you know, the jab across the hook as well. We just put a little bit of elbows and knees into it. Same thing, striking is striking no matter where you're at, all right? So let's look at the terminology boxing, okay? So when we're looking at boxing, right? We're looking at the jab, cross, the hook, the uppercut. Four basics, right? Here's my jab, here's my cross, here's my hook, here's my uppercut. Now, how do we apply these things in the ring? Well, you apply in the ring with gloves. In the street, you're not gonna have gloves. So martial arts or fighting for ring, you know, um, ring purpose is pretty much the same thing, except for in the street, I can step over and uppercut him with groin, right? I can hook to the groin, 
I in, in, in a street, I can hook to the thigh, right? I can hit him on, I can hit him below the belt in the street. I can't do that in the ring, all right? So now, I'm more of a street guy versus ring guy anyways, all right? I'll show you how to throw a proper jab, proper, proper cross, proper hook, proper uppercut in the side of all right, so getting back down to the narrative, all right? I'm gonna fire my jab, right? He's going to try to stop the jab, right? Whoa, not making it. Good, now he's checking. Whoa, why is he not stopping the jab? I'm doing something that a lot of people really need to comprehend. One thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna lift my shoulder. Bang, right? Okay, stop it, good. See, I lift my shoulder, he reads it. I don't, he gets hit, all right? Whoa, still getting hit, why are you getting hit? Because I'm not telling him when I'm gonna strike him, all right? So you're not even gonna defend against both, ready? Whoa! Okay, so now we're sending these, so, so now I'm not gonna communicate, I'm not gonna communicate what I wanna, what I, what I wanna do to him. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire this from here, and I'm gonna fire this from here, all right? And I ain't gonna talk to him, talk to him with my hands and not, and not, and not, and not most of my body. All right, so there we have our jab and our cross. Now let's look at that jab, cross, and that hook, right? And you're gonna defend. Whoa, now if you come on this side, actually, matter of fact, yeah, do me a favor. All right, you see? It, jab, cross, hook. Hook's on the inside, right? If, now, all I do is now, if this is reality, I would shift my weight and I'm, uh, by pivoting, and then there be his jawline. All right, so that's that jab, that's that cross, and that's that hook. All right, so now let's look at jab, cross, hook, uppercut. All right, so actually we'll move around for this a little bit, right? All right, move around for this. No, we're not gonna. He, we're looking at live shit right now. Excuse my language, kids. It's okay. I know you guys first too. It's all right. All right, especially when they turn like eight, nine, ten. They you know they know more than us, right? So we're looking at jab, cross, hook, bang! Oh! You right there? Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Connects. So when you're looking at real time, you're looking at, you're looking at not having it to where a person is gonna dance with you and defend, right? Now my guy, he knows that defend, right? He can, he can power, right? So now if I'm away from the thing, right? I'm shooting this, I'm shooting this the other sense. One, two, boom, right? One, two, right? He's ready for the one, two, right? That's if I have not, if, that's if I don't close the distance. If I don't close the gap, he, he can parry this. Why he can parry this? This is because it's not next to him anyways. All right? Training purposes, we're not gonna be next to each other. Right? Now, when I step in, boom! See, that's the difference. Then you see the difference is now I can touch. I don't telegraph, he might get hit. All right? I don't telegraph, he might get hit. If I don't have, if I don't close the gap, he might not get hit. He's not gonna get hit. He got it. He's gonna get hit. All right. So real time is different from real time training. Definitely different from people sitting there throwing hands at each other. It looks good on television. Half time, half that shit is bullshit, right? So real time. Okay, you fire everything's way. You got the target. You've been, you've been practicing. You're working your focus pads whatsoever. Real training gives you, real training gives you real experience. Fake training gives you fake experience, all right? So if you're not training in real time, actually commit to it, throw the punch. There you go, see, throw it again. Good, throw it again. So if I ask him throw the punch, throw it, throw the punch, he's gonna hit me in the face. You see my head's gonna shake, right? That's not for you beginners. That's for people like me and him. We, we, we punch real time, real time. Real time, okay? We hit in real time. This is the combat part that people fail to get, okay? You're gonna have knuckles involved in a fight. When we're looking at combat, as far as my experience, we, we hit, we roll on the floor, we roll hard. When I trained before his first competition, we trained in like 100, what, 100 degree weather? Three days. Three days. Not even. <laughs> on the concrete, burning, it was asphalt, scorching, right? This is real training. This is your combat part. Yonkers. <laughs> All right, it's your combat part. There's no mass up. We got mats in here. 
and we got plenty of gym space, you know, but combat says you're doing things in real time. You know, so sometimes we throw a punch, I might, if I miss that parry, I get hit. All right, he misses the parry, he gets hit. All right, this is the combat part. All right, let's go into Wing Chun. All right, so Wing Chun, for me, is the application of moving structures. Some people, well, we can always reference it to, you know, sensitivity, all right? So saying, okay, I, this guy gives me some energy, I, give me move, move, and right, and I, understandable. I understand all my practice, my young practice is saying that, you know, read the energy, read the pressure. I'm big on sensitivity, I'm big on read the pressure, because everything for me is a reaction, response time. Everything's response time. I love Wing Chun for it improves response time, right? Reaction time, all right? So I take this away, he does, he, he stops it, right? This is his way that he responds again, right? I take this away, I attack, he responds. This is a back fist, now I'm gonna throw a straight punch. I take this away, I throw a straight punch, he responds. I do this, right, he responds. I come this way, I don't even take nothing away, he responds to it. All right, I come here, now, look, you see, now he, everything he wants to do, I, what he would like to do is respond, all right? So now, we're going to go back into the things where I'm talking about structures. This structure's in a way. He's putting the structure up, I need to move it. I put the structure, he moves it, but wait for it. The sensitivity part, which means that I didn't give him any pressure and I did not alert him, this is why I get, this is where I get the strike off. All right? So looking at sensitivity, response time, moving structures, a little bit of wing chunk, all right? I'm there, he's there. Boom, I'm there, he moves structure, which got, he moves there, wait, I come this way, oh, this is the response. Now we all know he can throw that, he can throw that knee there, right? I got the straight punch. Right, you know, I got that finger, that little eye break, little dirty move right here, and I got to be there. He's moving slow. I'm moving slow. We're moving at a speed to where we got to hit each other, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to injure him. I need him, I need him. I need him to train with me. He needs me to teach him, right? So I'll come here, he goes there, right? What you got? Okay, what you else got? Good, what you got? He goes for that elbow, right? Good, what you got, what you got, All right? Good, what you got, right? See, the thing is, whatever he gives me, I'm gonna read, right? I'm gonna try to read, excuse me, not going to, but try to read, right? Feeling, using, based on, based on his energy pressure, once I feel something, all right, I, all right, I adjust to it, I respond to it, right? I feel, I feel his weight shifting, right? I'm ready to move, right? So now, we're gonna look at, okay, cool. This is stop, this is hit. This is hit. Okay, go. Strike. I'm locked through this thing right now, right? <laughs> what you got? What you got? Good. Okay. Respond. Stop, hit. Now, without this structure, this is resembling a punch. We're not going to use that. We're going to take away the structure right now. Right? So now, I'm in, I'm in my little fighting stance, right? Right? So now, I'm gonna catch, I can parry, I can parry. I can double parry, here's my strike, okay? All right, let's look at that beautiful double parry again. Whoa, double parry, now I cut the punch, right? Good, he moves over, shifts his weight, good. All right, hands, correspond, hands corresponding, right? Interacting, good stuff, right? Oh, what is this called? B-U-G, finger jab. So that's something that we're looking at as far as the combat side, right? Right, he goes this here, I don't want a finger jab, right? I'll come here for the finger jab, I don't get this one, I get this one, right? Okay, moving the structure. This is in my way, he throws a punch, in my way, move it out my way, move it out my way, then I get my strike off, right? Moving the structures, right? One. Moving the structures to get a shot, all right? You were ready? You? No? Yeah, right? Like that. So it's always <laughs> something, well, I mean, you always got opportunities, right, in, in a fight. 
I usually say, like say for instance, if I'm here, he's there, his, this hand is free, he can, he, can, he can attempt to strike, right? He can attempt to strike. I would adjust usually, right, or throw the strike, or I shoot the shoulder out if I could, I'd probably, you know, try to stop, the, 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 try to stop him from getting leverage, right? And, not to, and even if he was to shift that weight, push. No, 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 push up that strike. No, put the punch, push. Push into the strike. See, that's, that's the way that it should be done. So even if I'm trying to shift the shoulder, go. He, he, he might, might in, a real, in a real situation, you're trying to commit, you're gonna get hit. Yeah, you might get hit, right? But now I'm shifting the shoulder off, trying to disrupt his balance, trying to take the punch off, but might not get hit as hard, right? So that's the sensitivity part of it. So when he moves, right, he goes somewhere, right? I'm trying to read this, right? Good, I'm trying to read. I push, he reads, he bounces back. That's the sensitivity part of it, saying that when he goes somewhere, I want to feel this, I'm going to, I'm going to try to feel that, I want to try to read, right? <laughs> That's the sensitivity part. Mixing that with the structures, saying, okay, he moves this way, you see? Exactly. I move, you move. I put the punch up, he, he moves it, takes it away. I take it away, right? He stops the structure. Putting, putting something in the way of it. It's like he throws a kick, I check, you know what I do? I land on that foot right there, right? Now I wanna say, hey, get out of my way. All right, let's go into, now let's look at something called, where you want to get? Taekwondo. Most people say, oh man, Taekwondo. I say, no, wait a minute. Don't sleep on any system. You might not work. The system will work. Something out of the system will, will work, all right? If you don't work, the system don't work. That's the bottom line when it comes to martial arts or combat, all right? If you don't work, the system don't work. So, all right, we, in, in Taekwondo, I only focus on a, a few things, all right? Things I focus on with Taekwondo, pretty much looking at kicking, is our, oh, pants a little tight, it's okay. I'm looking at my turning kick, all right? I'm looking at something we call side kick. We all know front kick, right? Looking at front kick, right? Turning kick, um, back spin kick. Um, sometimes I like to throw that hook into, that hook kick into a, a little turning kick, or some people say roundhouse. I was taught ITF, International Taekwondo Federation, of my old school Taekwondo. I was taught, it's called turning kick, all right? Comes around, hey. So we have that turning kick. Oh, not to mention my favorite, front snap. And then for me, front snap is one of my favorites for combat. He was like, oh, oh, you're a dirty fighter. You're right. Looking at a street perspective, a survival perspective, the, the whole thing about fighting is for survival. So looking at this part, survival perspective, I might want to go to groin, right? I might want to blow that knee out, right? But, so I might want to go groin, knee, <laughs> mix it up a little bit, right? So we have very simple front snap kick groin, right? So now let's mix it up, right? I'm going to throw, what we, we're looking at that, 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 that turning kick, I'm going to throw it three times. I'm going to shoot here, shoot here, and that other one's going to come to his face. All right? Go ahead, throw your turning kick. Right? So he throws his turn and kick. Now we're looking at what are we aiming for? I want to come here. I usually throw my turn and kick. I usually try to come around to the, to the back of the leg. What's in the back? What's this? Your thighs. Hamstring. Okay. Yeah. Things that hurt, things that tighten up, things that say, oh, Charlie horse, things that say, ah. Right? So when I throw my turn and kick, and I'm going to here, I try to come and wrap around to get a piece of that. I don't like to come to the side of it. Side of it, he's got more muscle. Here in the back, you see, okay. more pain. So I'm throwing my turn to kick. You see, he doesn't want that again. I right? can see this, but I'm gonna come here. Boom, right there, okay? Again, I'm gonna pivot, I'm gonna throw my extreme kick, right? What I like about type one is that you can integrate the kicks, right? So, all right, this one, you're gonna evade. 
So when he hates, I don't throw the, I don't, I don't throw the same kick because he's not going to be there. I can go here and go here, right? That means that he moves. Whoa, I have to switch the kick. So that one, I say, if you move from the turning kick, I'm going to throw a turning kick into a back spin kick, all right? Or I can throw my front kick, step inside, whoa, hook kick, right? Taekwondo, you can play with legs. Some people don't. Some people don't use the attacks in a line. They don't have like the line of attacks. I like to attack in a line, which means that I'm always coming with something else. This don't hit, this don't hit. This don't hit, this hits. Something else, something else from hands to feet. Like I was going over jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Use your combinations. We all know the basis. Hook, right? Uppercut, hook. Right? Hook, cross, hook. Right? You can switch it up. So the same way you would use boxing, you say cross, hook, cross, or yes, cross, hook, cross, or you can go hook, cross, hook. The same way you can go front kick, step aside, back spin kick. So for me, that's my way that I like to do in the way, the way that I was taught to use my legs in Taekwondo. Now, moving forward, get into more fun stuff. Let's look at Jiu-Jitsu. So, people say Jiu-Jitsu, or, or people go Jiu-Jitsu, oh, this is Jiu-Jitsu, no, I mean, you're not gonna ever see nobody in a fight, people gonna go into a clinch, right? And say, you know, that's kind of guarding. No, 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 my friend. You're not gonna look at a fight. You don't even see that in a ring. In a ring, we use clinches, right? I remember Julian asked me one day, he says, what happens when a guy locks up and you hit? Remember that? Yeah. And he's tight, all right? So when he's tight, I can't get up, I can't pass the guard. What do you do? You shift down, come under. This gives you this, right here. I'm just tight, step forward, and here's my takedown, all right? That's jujitsu ring. Let's look at jujitsu street. Addison, Somebody, but most guys don't get grabbed like this. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people are drunk and stuff, they like running. You know what I'm saying? This is stupid. Because now Julian grabs me by the throat. I like straight shot, shut up, get off me, right? Somebody chokes you, punch him in the face. Very simple, keep it simple, right? Guy chokes you, clap him in the ears. This is what I was taught in Jiu Jitsu, right? And then shout out to Kato Orders. I was taught this in Jiu Jitsu. Bring it up, bring it down in your arm. Okay, but no, but, but, you guys are usually don't get grabbed. And that's gonna take a little bit to learn. It's gonna take some time to do. Do I like it? Some of it I do, some of it I'm like, okay. But I think, for me, combat-wise, fighting-wise, everybody's gonna throw a punch, right? So, he throws a punch. I might try to ride this way. This is, for me, coming into jiu-jitsu, okay? And then from here, I try to execute a takedown, all right? Again, or let me, excuse me, that's a little bit of Kali mixed in with it. He throws a punch, I come this way. I come under, I come this way. I can't help with the Kali thing, I was gonna hook in after that later. Okay, now I got him here, all right? And I try to take him down, you know, sit him on the floor, like, let him calm down, or I can choke, whatever the case may be. A little jujitsu, right? Another thing is jujitsu. He throws this, I'm here, whoa, okay, jujitsu, right, okay, jujitsu, a little bit of jujitsu for me, all right, joint manipulations, all right, so that's like a few things that I like, how I see jujitsu, even if it's sad, throw a punch, right, throw it look, you see, if I can take this arm, I can control it. See, now I can come in control. Oh. Okay? If I can touch it, that's Right? See, I'm still on it. We call this riding the punch. Probably bring it back. See? I'm gonna ride the punch. I ride it in. I control the punch, I take down. That's jujitsu. Let's look at Kali. Kali system. Palatukin, which is the empty, empty hand system of combat, right? In Kali, we don't 
move the structures majority of the time, we like to destroy them most of the time. Okay, so, and Kali, he throws a punch, I don't wanna, I wanna attack it, right? He throws a punch, I attack. He throws a punch, I attack. I'm gonna attack. I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack, right? So when he gives me jab cross, attack, attack, right? Attack, attack, all right? That's Kali. Destroy for the most part of it. Neutralize, destroy, right? So let's look at this again. One, two, three, right? Four, right? Five, that's his head on the floor. Smash, right? If I really want the tension, I didn't get the head. I go into something like this. This is Kali, all right? Actually, that was a Kali move with a little Salat back sweep. So, we, and also it's a lot you destroy it because we're looking at the blade systems, you know? We'll go over that more later. So in Kali, we like to destroy things, right? Give me jab cross. I come in here. I knee, I step down, whoa. Right, Kali system. Again, one, two, I salute. I take that elbow, what that tricep, bang. Right, I wedge here. I come to the back of this leg. I come down, I smash one, I smash two, I smash three. I, I, I leave. Right? One, two, so now, again, jump first. So he chose that jab cross, I'm not there, right? One, two, look, you see that elbow comes up. The elbow might, run, another one might run across. I might come here, come down here to my little, my little clinch over here, which more like is like a, you know, a Kali Salat clinch. I step here, look, bang. I end up on that face, he's got a huge problem. More Kali, or Palatuki, excuse me. Empty hands, all right? So, and we're gonna look for something that hurts. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna look for what we call, so you have a break heel and radio, right? Here, here, here. I'm gonna try to find one of these spots. You can come over here too. I usually don't unless I'm here, right? But I usually like to get them right on a bicep, in between or on that bone. So I hit them in between or I hit that bone. It's not a good feeling bad sensation, all right? So I'm gonna go and on the inside, right? He throws a punch, I go to the inside, bang! I neutralize that. He gives me jab cross, bang, bang! All right, let's come over here. All right, stay right there. I hit here, I hit here. So he gives me jab cross fast, bang, bang, right? I hit both, both parts of the arm. I want, again, one, two, slow. This is my structure, I move it. I come here, I come here, I come here. Knee, down, down, right? And that's another thing we like to use, which a lot of people like, and we'll be going more over this, just a little demo. We're gonna go with the Puruka Pala, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Either here, eight, or here, eight. Sometimes people stop like on the stomach, no? Boom, see, he might stop that. Boom, right? So he tries to stop this, I come down here. I spin down here, I can either keep him high, right? I'm gonna go into the gooseneck here. I'm not gonna keep him high, I'm dropping. I'm stretching out here. Here's one break here. So I gotta come here, or I can just stay high, come over into the throat, down, right? Another thing for you just guys, you can always drop. And say, you know what, I'm gonna cross here. I used to like to come here, because I don't like my guys rolling back. So I usually don't come here and come here. I usually come down and I run mine right across the leg right here, because it's going to break. So I drag this to my right, that's a break. Coming up, it takes a little bit longer. This way, oh, excuse me. Oh, like this. See, he lifts with it. Roll over, come in. He's moving. Right, see look, he's moving. He's got too much space, right? Got too much space. So that's why some guys come up out of that bar. Some guys come up out of the bar, some guys, they don't. Right, some guys, they, they got, they'll fight for it. 
But I come here, I cross, move. He don't want to move. If he moves, I'll break his arm. Move. Bro. He moves. This, if, if he was to move that way, the pressure's going to go that way. And that's his arm coming on. Bye bye. So that's the way I like to look at it. All right? Little Kali Jiu Jitsu. All right. That's that since we're at it. All right, let's go into Salat. I like Salat a lot because Salat you can fight out of the form. No disrespect to Wing Chun, guys. Can you completely fight out of form? You have to ask oneself. I'm not too big into forms. Especially, I'm not gonna get into a fight here and come here ever. It's good, it's good stuff. Love it, love it. I wanna be here. So if I'm gonna do my form, I'm gonna do it from my fighting stance. For me, I do all my forms from my fighting stance. You know, if I can't be here, I won't be nowhere else. For me, all right? Forms give you control, they give you discipline, and they help you with hand placement. I'm not trying to take away from the forms. I'm just saying I'm not big on forms anymore. Not for myself. All right. So, good? Good. He takes a lot of pain, so do I. He takes pain, I take pain. This guy has me in headlocks and guillotines and arm bars, kimuras, punches me in my face. He's like, he's like, 220 and I'm getting hit by a guy at 220. All right, so, and I ain't 220, all right, all right? We all go through a little bit of pain. You can, if you can't go through the pain, you ain't training realistically. If you don't have no type of pain, just a little bit, just a little bit, you ain't training realistically, no all right? Because if you go, the smart concept is if you get into a fight and you don't know what pressure is, you don't know what hitting or getting hit is, how do you kind of, like you don't have the experience, so you're kind of a little bit behind the ball, right? Not, not getting hit. Or not hitting, right? Hit, right? Two guy, two fifteen, bang, right? I don't know what that feels like. I get into a fight, guy hits me, then my 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 nerves get all crazy, my testosterone levels, my cortisol levels, all that stuff is off, right? You gotta get hit a little bit, all right? Just a little bit, all right? So looking at Salak, I'm gonna show you one of the first forms I learned from Salak, right? From pin chop Salak Salak. fight out of it. It's been a minute since I've done that. But let me just give you the first piece from it. All right. Coming out, this is deflection. This is a strike. This is a deflection. This is a strike. This is deflection. This is deflection. This is a strike. This is a strike. Sometimes I'll add mines and two it. So let's look at that first move from Salah. All right? Any punch you want to throw it. Okay, look, again. You see what I'm looking at? So even if I'm here, open up, close. We're looking at open and close. You know, a few people I see online talk about open and close. I get it because I understand it. So I'm going to open, I'm going to close. I can come here, here's my elbow. All right? That's the opening statement out of out of that form, which I like, because this is something that I can do. I can come move, replace, move, replace. I come back, I got my streets. I come down, neck, neck, roll, elbow, right? Shot to the sternum, right? I got my bits and pieces out of the fighting style from Salah, right? Out of the combat system from Salah. So you're looking at that one piece that say, like I like Salah because I said you can fight from it. Should you choose, you know? He goes to punch, All right? This is out of the system, okay? He goes to punch, one, two, three, four. Almost looks like shackle hands for the brothers that know shackle hands. So almost looks like, I don't know shackle hands. Shout out to my brother John. Oh, the <laughs> right? Learn a little shackle hands. Go, if the DC go, yay. My, my <laughs> so, so, shotgun hands is a cool system too. Comes from the African martial arts, a slave, when a slave's learn a ship, or the slaves learn, had to see, when the slaves had to learn how to fight, while they were chained, 
So you'll see the blocks, you'll see the strikes, you know, and it's very similar to Salah. You know, you'll see the shackled hand, the combination. And it's also, a, they say corkscrew punch, bang, corkscrew punch, right? It's a, it's a very hard strike. I think because of the attachment, you know, I think you hit a little harder with it as well. So that's my thing with slot. Oh, what do we got next? Now people say, you're rock. Oh my God, where did you get your BJJ from? Man, I've been around for a very long time. All right, so his first fight, he won. I trained him three days. The other guys had like maybe months or a year. Me and him ain't even had no time. Three days, he went competed in one. All right. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Demog, I like to tie the BJJ with the Demog. All right. So, um, let's look at it from, once again, because we're not in the ring right now. Let's go to the street a little bit. Let's go to survival. So, he goes to punch. Whoa, I want to go low. Right, he goes to punch. I can declare this, right? He goes to punch. I can go here, right? I come here. Look, that's my way. I like to collapse and fold me, right? I can come up, try to cover. First thing I'm gonna do, if this is protected, I'm gonna open this up by hitting him in the ribs. Bang! Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open him up because now he goes to this side. This side right here is open. Bang! Now I want to tie this in here. Bang! I shift this over. I'm on the neck. Right? I can, I mean, there's many different ways to look at this. One thing is things that I'll, you know I'm gonna come low. I'm, I'm up high because I'm striking. I'm low, I'm, I'm trying to get the submission. Right, so if I'm low, I'm trying to get a submission. I might want to try to come under, right? I might want to try to come here, right? I might want to try to control the arm, try to get position, right? He might lock me and say, no, you're not going for that, right? So now, what we're gonna do is that he was, he's kind of like a, let me, I'm gonna try to come this way, can't go that way. Whoa, well, can't go that way. Which way I'm gonna go? I'm gonna try to come this way, right? Bring his arm around. He's got the pressure here. I need to get it away, right? So now I'm trying to get my little leverage over here so I can get my blade free, right? Because he locked that leg. I could have went for the Kimura, that would have worked, I would have had the pressure. So now, I'm like, fighting wise, do I, do I have to submit him? Not really, I can strike, all right? So if I have this here, all right, then I, I do have this here, I can try to come here, right? Okay? Well, my little arm lock, all right, turn it over, that, right? Looking at this looks like a figure four lock, right? So figure four lock, you come here, or look, bends. If it bends, it breaks, right? It bends, it breaks. Any different type of weight. He would probably try to shift his weight up. I'm not going for that anyways, all right? Let's look at something else. So if I was here, which I don't really like to be in this position ever, all right? I don't like to be in this position because he can shift, he can, he can shift them hips. I try to come this way. He, he can shrimp out like what he just did. He just shrimped out. Okay, now this is a fight. I, I don't like fighting. So if I ever do end up here, all right, I push, I push his arm and try to shake this way and immediately go into an arm bar. And the reason why I push on this side is because it's like trying to just get a little trick going on. I push, he feels his pressure. This one kind of releases. So I'm like here, he, he, he's trying to defend against this arm. Like, so I make a leap, I'm trying to control this arm. I slide over, and I'm like, okay, well this way. All right, little jiu jitsu, little groundwork. I'm not on the ground on something, something. Let's see Jews on the groundwork. Groundwork, man, what you got for me? Okay. 
know where he's going with this. Let's show you a little trick on his muscles. Now, if I move, well, oh no, keep it keep running. Now, what I want you, since it's taking a little bit longer, keep going. I'm trying to move some structures. All right, come on, work, work. All right, he's moving structures. I want to keep moving the structures. All right, I want to move his legs. I'm going to push his leg over. Right he's trying to go for that choke. I want to shoot out. All right, he's trying to drop the weight. All right, good. He's going to keep moving. He's got a leg. I'm trying to keep moving. All right, he's putting his big old body on me. All right? Man, that ain't jujitsu, but it works. All right, <laughs> digging. Right now, so now he's trying to go for a catch move. He's digging into my ribs. All right. Good. Go for that bar again. I shift out. Shoes coming on. Now it's shoot for Kimura. Come around. Can you see that Kimura, baby? Yep, I see it. Okay, good. So now you shoot for this thing here. Okay. Go back to that. You see? This is when we bend and break. It right. bends and breaks. If it bends and breaks, how do I get out of this? Hmm. Huh? I don't know, teacher. You tell Go me. Work. <laughs> That's how you get out of it. So what were you doing? Come on inside. Apply it. See, look. This hand, go pull the shoulder. Give me a little bit of space. Because the closer he is to me, head down, the worse it is. All right? And for me, if you're grappling, you want to be close because like a snake coils in order to subdue its predator. I mean, it's, it's prey. So predator versus prey, he, needs, he wants to be close. That's the way I see it. Well, if, I'm, if, I'm trying to, if I'm trying to subdue him, Come down. Or if I'm trying to submit him, yeah. I want to be close. So when he goes to that Kamora again, all right, I got to find a way to loosen this thing up, right? So sometimes if I can't get the head, I'll try to nudge over with the head a little bit, and I'll try to pull the shoulder just to buy me some time, right? So now I'm going to drop on the ankle here, right? Because he should have his hooks in, right? So now he gets his hooks in. I can't go anywhere, right? <laughs> he hooks in. Now I'm like, you see? So go ahead, hook. So now when he hooks, I'm gonna try to roll. All right, he hooks, I roll that over. Which I could have did in the first place because it's all about reading that pressure. So you see how I just turned him over nice and easy? Now I'm back in this position, all right? So for me, I like fighting on the ground. You know, for me, the only thing about fighting anyway is anybody's game, you know, but I like going to the floor. I like, I like him to crank it on me, you know? I like, sometimes I like to fight it, you know? Sometimes I'll give it up, usually don't, you know? Sometimes I'll give it up, say, you know what? You got me in the right move. Teaching purposes, you know what I mean? I want to turn, you know? So, ground says, all right, coming out my shoes. Okay, good. Ground says, ground, so you'll be anyway, man. Right? Right? He's gonna shoot. Good. Because that position is true for a triangle. Right? He's sure for a triangle. What you got? Like I said, the closer he gets, the worse it is. So, opposite of that, when he shoots for these things, what am I doing? Go. The moment he does that, the moment, go, keep going. The moment he does that, the moment I want to try to break that lock. So I slide over. He can't get the full triangle now. I drop my way to the other side. I want to release pressure. So now, he's going to go for the arm bar. Right? He's going to eject. Good. Come 
mess with it. Now, see what he's gonna do is he's gonna tuck it on the inside. What you got? <laughs> Let me see that again. Now when he's here, what do I do? What's locking me? His legs. Legs. All right, so these things will be tight, tight. I want to shift this over. I shift this over, I try to come up. That gives me, that leads to pressure. Then you come back and do something else, of course, right? Uh -huh. See, he's got the structure, I don't move it. Right, if he comes this way, I'm coming, I'm coming, coming this way. I'm not gonna go against the pressure, I'm gonna go into it. <laughs> this ain't no geeper, so he's the He go for that choke. Only thing is he's got on the choke, really, but see, I come for it. Now look, now if I want to come out, I start moving. I start moving fast. Right? I come out, I start moving fast. Right? Right, now I come to the same position. Right? Get my hooks in. Right? Now here I got my hooks in. Right? And now he's gonna go for leg lock. Now he's got me in position. What do I do? He's got a position. What do I have to do? Roll. Move. I gotta move. Right? I gotta move. Right? What else do I do? Mm. Look, so, my thing, see? Oh, man. so now I go for my cheat sheet. In the streets, I go for that Achilles heel and I start tearing at it. Right? That's me moving. Alright? This is me moving again. Now I come sit back down with him because I want to sit down with him. That's me move. Then you don't sit there, you move. Try to move. Try to break the lock. If we're in the streets, I'm gonna be like bricks. Fix, fix. I'm not gonna be sitting like a Jimmy Lock. Right? The more he goes, bang! That's right in the nose. Right? I'm like, bang! It's a kick in the face. Bang! Bang! Right? Put up with the structure. Right? Right? Ankle! <laughs> so that's what it's a little bit of crown fight looking like. Move, attack, move. I try to go for a submission if you can. You know, he had this leg lock. Actually, let me show you how to apply it first. Well, go for it over there and then see. I'll show you the quickest way to apply that. So he's got this part right. So we just step back. I'm gonna come here. Alright. And I'm gonna kick it. Right? Right, so he that's just so I come here. It's a little if you ever get down in groin lock twist. Right? The bell says come here. But then he might slip out of that. I don't go there. I come here, I crank it. What is he gonna do? He's gonna move. I catch this arm, and I try to come the other way. Right? I want him to move. <laughs> see? You see? Guess what? Again, I wanna keep moving these structures. Right? <laughs> I'm a little strong too. Yeah, pick him up one hand. <laughs> Go over on the board. So that's a little fun. A little fun with rocks around. 
Julian, Julian Pena, Sorry. Universal Time Master, Survival. No. I ain't eat all day, but it feels this is the food here. <laughs> you know, great food. Food is learning, exchanging, sharing. You know, most guys don't get down and dirty with this. I'll drop the floor with anybody. Now I'm gonna teach you something, you're gonna teach me. Uh, Julian. Yes, sir. Take off your shirt, bro. My hair fuck. He, he ain't shaved today, but that's all right. Because I need to you guys to see how strong this motherfucker. You see this nigga? This is a big motherfucker right there, <coughs> boy. Okay. He is. How 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 much do you weigh right now? Two twenty. Two twenty. How much do you bench? Three fifteen for reps. Three fifteen. For reps. For reps. Yeah. Huh? How, how, how much do you weigh? I'm I'm a soaking. For a little bit of sweat, I'm like 183. 183. Yeah. yeah. And you definitely ain't benching what he's benching. Oh, hell no. <laughs> nah. I ain't benching that at all. Hell, I ain't benching at all right now. I get some push ups, some pull ups. Bitch. <laughs> all right. Well, this was the Universal Combat Survival. You guys already know hit the like, hit the uh, subscribe button, you know, hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we're. Uh, dropping these videos um you know stay strong stay smart uh and stay spiritual and rock any uh, last words yeah man hit that button baby <laughs> you know come holla at me too if you like what you see come see me i'll inbox you the rest send me a message now you've seen your boxing right you're boxing in real time right Let's go with a little wing chunk, all right? That's cool with you, big guy? Super cool. Okay, so, all right. Now, actually, let me take a pause on that. Rock on um, Universal Combat Survival. Fun introductory. Survival course at Scratch. Rock on Universal Combat Survival. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I usually put my ass off. I put my ass off any other time. Okay, I'm camera side. Not really. Not really. I be talking shit all the time, my back. Alright, cool. Five, four, three, two, one, one. Four, three, two, one. How you doing? This is Rock Blum with Universal Combat and Survival. Uh, and then, shit. Study with world famous. Oh, gotcha. I was almost there. I was almost there. Mm -hmm. Let me get assistance. Absolutely. Hey guys. It's me. The one and only. Hey guys, Daniel Agustin Quinones here with Universal Combat and Survival. Uh letting you know that um there's gonna be more content coming up. As you can tell with uh, some of the videos I either placed here or here. I haven't decided where I'm going to place them. But as um, soon as I know, you know. But uh, I don't even know if that's even right. But all right. This is that. Nah. Hey, guys. Hope you liked the content. I hope it was good. I hope, well, it's supposed to be good. The fuck? Hey guys, Daniel. Hey guys. You know, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is up. And feel free to, you know, um, Go ahead and uh, leave a comment. Hey guys, um, I hope you like what you saw. Bear with us, you know, a lot of the
Hey guys, I hope you like what you saw. You know, please. Uh, hey guys, it's Daniel with Universal Combat and Survival. I hope you like the content that we're putting up. Um, as of right now, our quality is very poor um, because of... Hi, this is Daniel with Universal Combat and Survival. I'm here to tell you to please hit that like, please hit that share, please leave a comment, please hit that notification bell if you want to see the next video, which I hope you like the content that we just had and the way I'm saying all this shit is kind of weird. Hey guys, this is Daniel with Universal Combat and Survival. I hope you liked the video that you just saw. Um, and if you want to see others, there's somewhere in here, there's a video. That's stupid. Hi, this is uh, Webos Fritz. Hey guys, hope you liked what you saw. There'll be more videos, as you can already tell. Um, if you liked what you saw, please hit that like. Please hit the subscribes. Please hit the comments and the notification bells. So you can check out the next one, okay? Hey guys, this is Daniel with Universal Combat and Survival. Hope you liked the uh, video that we... Hi, uh, this is uh, Daniel Quinones, Huevos Fritz of the Huevos Fritz Brigade. <laughs> get to watch another one, learn a few more tricks and um, and tips. On top of that, uh, hit that uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like, comment, um, so that, uh, you know, we can adjust to certain things. I don't think that made any sense. Hey guys, this is Daniel with Universal Combat and Survival. Uh, hey guys, this is Daniel with Universal Combat and Survival. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you really liked it. Uh, because Rock Salam was busting his ass. And so was Julian. And it hurt my fingers holding up this big ass iPad. But uh, <laughs> enough about us. How about you? Oh my God, it's terrible. Hi guys, this is Daniel with Universal Combat and Survival. I hope you liked the last video that you just saw, which is exactly what you just saw. What the fuck? Hey guys, this is Daniel with Universal Combat and Survival. And um, basically, I was being very vain looking at myself just then. Hey guys, this is Danny with Universal Combat and Survival, and I'm looking at myself because I'm so sussy. Hi guys, this is Danny with Universal Combat and Survival. I hope you like what you just saw. There'll be definitely many more, as you can already tell on the screen. Feel free to click on any one of those, and uh, yeah. And if uh, hey guys, hope you like what you saw, and hope you learned something. Um, it's very important to understand that. That was a little bit of jujitsu. Beautiful. It's short, but beautiful. Hope you liked it. And if you did, hit that like. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is popping off. Subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. On the, in the you know, the comment section. You know? And, uh, that shit is like. Guys, hope you like that Sila video. I know I sure enjoyed it. Now, if that's one stuff, can you fight out of your stance? You know, there are in some occasions where your, uh, you know, 